на протяжении for a couple of weeks, I suffered from sleep paralysis, nothing terrible or unpleasant. One night I saw a handsome man who told me I'm close. I didn't feel any danger, but as a Christian at that time, I got two liters of holy water, doused my bedroom with it and everything stopped. And after a while I realized I'd make a mistake. I shouldn't have done this, and I haven't been able to enter the state for over a year. Everything got blocked. How to remove this block? Yes, colleagues, we all go through it sooner or later, one way or another. The feeling of fear, the feeling of irrational fear, is blocking the very thing that I mentioned in the first part of our work. Our own actions are blocking these contacts. There is no need to blame yourself. In fact, given the tough and aggressive environment in which the consciousness of the sensitive ones that come into this world has to exist, it is not surprising that in the beginning stages you considered this behavior as normal. But of course, this is not normal. Of course, this is a mistake. Of course, these channels have been blocked. Holy water is just a formality. In fact, everything actually rests within your consciousness. Absolutely everything is within your consciousness. You could go on and clean your apartment five times with insecticide to counterbalance what was done, but it won't change anything. You need to get rid of your internal fear of this contact. There is a fear inside of you, and it runs quite deep. Christianity usually inserts its programs way deep in a way that even if you wanted to get them out, you won't be able to, unless you know where to look. Therefore, work with your consciousness and cleanse the astral body, because this is where, I remind you, the mistletoe roots lie. If the astral body is well cleansed, little by little this harmful restriction program will get deactivated. It will simply run out of energy, and the contact will reappear. I don't get tired of referencing books by Max Frey as an example, from which actually all of our first course students start to gain knowledge on magical consciousness, magical becoming and magical self-awareness. There was a certain break, or rather a certain episode, where the main character, Max Frey, stopped having dreams of his mentor, Joffin Holley. They have always been able to communicate in dreams. They always met at the same tavern and discussed their magical issues. And it was going on for a very long time until it suddenly stopped. All of it stopped abruptly. And for eight years, Max didn't see any dreams, didn't see Joffin. And of course, this state was catastrophic to him, since he lost a magical part of himself. The reason for this break at that time, as described by Max Fry, was the fact that Joffin Holley himself lost his magic for these eight years, meaning that they lost this very connection. This connection was severed, but a connection can always be restored. We very often lose connection with our mentors, in our childhood, when we would get scared, or in adolescence, when some personal life disaster would seem to us as something of truly universal proportions. Stuff like making a girl fall in love with you, or getting a boy's attention and having him smile at you, or in order to pass an exam or to get out of a test. We say, I would give all of my worldly treasures for it. While an ordinary consciousness may afford it, the word was said and forgotten. But within a consciousness that works on a certain channel, that came here along a certain channel and has the ability to control this reality, at least within its own lifetime, such spoken word, accompanied by a strong emotional intention, will be heard, and not only heard, but rather perceived as a mandatory command to action. So logic would suggest that one should get rid of fears by saying exactly the same command, say it out loud, same, same, mentally, with exactly the same emotional and energetic intentionality. A counter-program. 
and perform some sort of an obvious ritual action, which will invalidate this previous program and will deactivate it completely. Some sort of ritual action. What action could it be? Here, listen to your intuition. It will guide you. You may suddenly want to rearrange your furniture, for example, or urgently sell your apartment and buy another one. This also happened before. Or you may want to go into the woods to a specific place and do something in those woods. All this is coming from somewhere within you. Such a burning, irrational desire that you just get swept to a certain place and perform certain actions. It is clear that under today's conditions, boundaries are established not only between the worlds, but also between our realities. For some time, or maybe even for a long time, we won't be able to establish a personal contact because these are the rules of the game for now. Very strict rules. And we have to understand that there's a reason for this. We wanted it, we sought it, and we got it. Everything is based on your desire. It is simply that someone wanted more and someone less. Someone is hurt by reality and his desires are perceived as mandatory commands, while another one is just wasting his breath and only takes part in the formation of a general program of egregorial intention, for example. Everyone possesses their own level of rights and their own degree of impact on this reality. Therefore, in either way, you should know yourself. Of course, the connection can be restored. You just need to want it at least as much as you wanted to break that connection. Or even better, you should want it even more.